Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm going through all of my empties from April and the first part of May. I've got quite a bit here, so I'm going to jump right into it. Before we get too far into the video, if you have not already, I really hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe video. I upload it twice a week. It's totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you back on the channel. Let's get into what I have finished up. So I'm going to start with like the non-makeup stuff, but still in the like beauty lifestyle category if that makes sense so first of all I finished up from root to end this dry shampoo from Dollar General is where I got this and this was pretty good it was five dollars so that's why I got it I thought the price was really good it did leave a bit of a white cast but you could definitely work it in I wouldn't be mad to get this again right now I'm working on an Amica one that was sent to me but the dry shampoo is pretty good. I actually also got a purple shampoo from the same brand at the same time, also $5. That's been amazing. That I, I like the shampoo more than the dry shampoo at this point, but this one is definitely not the worst one by any means that I've tried. So if you're looking for one that's pretty good and it's definitely affordable, check out Root to End from Dollar General. I haven't forgotten, by the way, that one of you in the comments a while ago let me know what dry shampoo you really liked. I did purchase a little mini of it. I just haven't used it yet on purpose because I'm about to go to Italy and Greece, and so I'm planning on taking the little mini since it's a travel size with me and testing it while I'm overseas. I used up an entire native deodorant. I love this stuff. This one was Cactus Flower and Poppy. It was okay, it wasn't my favorite scent, but it wasn't bad by any means. It was just one of those like such a light scent that it's not super noticeable. I still have three of this left, not this exact scent, but other scents, but three native deodorants. So I'm not repurchasing anything because I already had a stash of them. This I got um, at two Ulta sales ago, I think when they did the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This is the Tripeel Acid Cleansing Balm, Pore Clarifying. I liked how this was on my skin. It had a funky smell. Um, but it definitely was effective at melting away my makeup. I didn't think the fact that it was the green tri-heal acid one did really anything great. It didn't do anything bad. It didn't do anything extra for my skin. I'll put it that way. And some of the other Benilico Clean It Zeros that I've tried, I've like even put on my eye and not had any issue. But the fact that this one was the tri -peel acid one made me nervous to put on my eyes. I realized after I purchased it. So I used a different cleansing oil on my eyes and this is a balm. It was fine. I would use it again, but it's not like anything that I'm like, you need to get it now. Right now, I am going through and using the uh, Key Soul Care Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm just because in the most recent Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, that's the one that was on sale. Um, I forget how much these are normally, but I think I paid like 17, which is definitely a reduced price, and I paid about 15 for the Key Soul Care one that I'm using now. That one's been okay too. Same thing, it hasn't had any like it says it has nourishing ingredients for your skin. I haven't noticed a big difference in my skin, but it does remove the makeup well. Also, the packaging on the Key Soul Care is way, way more elevated. This one, this is like cheapy plastic. That one is like heavy weighted glass feeling. Okay, I actually surprisingly used up a couple of fragrance items. So the first one is from Hollister <laughs> and it is the Writer Perfume. I'm not kidding you, I got this in high school. I don't know if they even make this anymore, and it's not a kind of scent that I'm into. I was at the time, but I'm not into it anymore. I have way too many fragrances right now like that that are just not ones that I vibe with anymore, but that I have in my collection. So I've just been trying to like do a little spritz here or there to get use out of them and not just trash them because I don't want to be wasteful. So I did totally use up this one. And then the other one I actually liked. So this one was small. I got it from Ipsy, and this is the no. Nanette Lepore Luna. This one I actually did like. The only reason I ran out of it is because of how small it is. Mm, this one smells really, really nice. It has kind of like an orange citrusy smell. I can't even tell you what this smelled like because it was so old. It's just like alcoholy smelling. You know what I mean? How some fragrances are just like little, little potent. That was this one. This one was really nice though. I liked that. I would. Love to have it again, however, I'm not repurchasing because like I just said, I have so many of them and I'm trying to use up some of what I have. All right, and I have just a few skincare things. I used up two little baby toners. These were both from Ipsy's. I was just, again, trying to use up some stuff I had. 
got way too much junk laying around. I say junk, but you know, it's it's not junk, it's usable, but too much stuff, let's just say. From La Palette Beauty, the Common Green Turnover Toner. I really liked this one. It has AHA, BHA, and PHA all in there as well. And then I also used up the Benton Deep Green Tea Toner. Um, and this one didn't have like the AHA, BHA, whatever, so I actually like this one better than this one. I liked the La Palette Beauty better than the Benton one, but I will say, Ipsy made a little boo-boo and sent me a bag twice. I ended up giving most of this up to my mom, but my mom doesn't use toner, so I ended up getting another one of these. So I have another one of these by accident. I would love to get this one again. I need to look up the price though, because I just don't know if it's gonna beat like the price of the, um, so Watson's? No, Fairs that I've been using that you get like a big thing for $7.99. However, of course, the Bears one doesn't have AHA, BHA, PHA, so I kind of understand, you know, pricing-wise. In fact, since we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and investigate real quick and look up with y'all how much this is. All right, looks like it is $22. I mean, that's definitely more than I pay for my uh, Thayer's one. I usually pay like $8 for a really big thing, but again, this has the, the HA, BHA, and PHA that I feel like it's something I would look into. However, it says coming soon on the website, so I can't even buy it yet if I wanted to. I have a really big Thayer's one right now though, so maybe when that's gone, I will explore and see if this is available or not, because I did really like that one. All right, and then I went through quite a few like moisturizing products, okay? So for my lips, I went through the Belief, Believe in Truth, Aqua Bomb. What is this called? Oh, Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Masks. This is like one of these little pot situations. This was sent to me through Influencer and Belief. I loved this so much. I ended up not repurchasing this because I, when I was at TJ Maxx last time, I'll actually leave the haul because I did film it. Um, I got some of the little pots of Laneige and I've been using those. Now, I should have done my research because I don't think Laneige is cruelty free. You guys let me know in the comments if you know for sure. So I'm like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have bought those. I bought them now, so I'm gonna use them, but I might not be again in the future, but this belief one was really nice if you're in the market for an overnight lip mask. And after I ran out of the lip mask, but before I had bought the Laneige ones, I was like, whatever, I'll just use chapstick in the meantime at night because I, I just get dry lips at night. So I gotta have something on them. So I used up this chapstick. This is from Avon and it is a 2003 Care Deeply Calendar Lip Balm. I don't wanna talk about it, but I will leave a link to the video me talking about the oldest makeup in my collection. One of the things that is an empty this month is this lovely item from that video. So I won't talk about this in any more in detail, the Ulta BB Cream Beauty Balm. But go watch that video for a laugh. And for kind of more like face moisturizers, I went through the Fab Pharma Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. My face really, really liked this. I've been telling you guys, if you've been watching lately, that my skin has really been very combo lately. Like in here especially, it's been very dry and a little bit in here, super dry, which is weird for me personally. This has been really nice for that. And then as that, that I use more like at night, overnight, as like a lightweight daytime moisturizer. Cause I usually, after I get out of the shower, do moisturizer before I do primer, any makeup or anything, but it needs to be something light for me. So something that's gonna like sink in right away. And for me, that was this Caudalie uh, Vino Perfect Instant Brightening Moisturizer. This took a while to go through guys, cause she's a, a big girl, but this was really nice too. I don't know if I will repurchase this cause it's expensive. It was like 50 some dollars, which Again, I didn't purchase this the first time. It was actually sent to me through Top Circle. Um, and I have other moisturizers right now. So I'm just gonna go through and try to like wean down my moisturizers and things in my collection and use stuff up. But if I ever get to a point where I don't have any left or I'm down to one, I would consider this because it lasted, I'm not kidding you, probably like a year for this jar. So even though it was, you know, it's like 50 some, $60, it lasts a long time because a little goes a long way and it truly does just like sink into the skin so quickly and then feel dry to the touch and not greasy but still hydrating. So I really love this one. All right, and I did actually use up some makeup products, you guys. Oh my gosh, thank goodness, right? It's, it's out of hand, it's out of control. I'm really trying to be good, guys. Like, 
I am. So I completely used up a brow gel. This is the one from Essence The Lash In uh, Brow Gel Mascara. I even used, uh, like, I pull the stoppers from products to get in there and get every last drop. So I know some people are like, empties, and you're like, girl, that's got like five uses left in it. No, I don't play that game. I'm pulling out the stopper. I'm scraping it. It's empty for real, okay? Um, so I use this up. Definitely will never buy again because this Too big for the brow in my opinion it like moves product of what I feel in my brows and ends up like dark up here So I made it work. I finished it off, but I would not recommend it unless you want it for like it says lash and brow So if you want a clear mascara then maybe but I'm not buying that again I have other brow gels though. I went ahead and pulled out um, the femme couture perfect arch clear brow gel that it's got a little bit left a little bit so I'm not repurchasing the essence one I'm gonna move on to other things um, next up is the milk makeup Kush mascara I used this up you guys same thing we are not playing games around here I, hopefully you can see maybe not I pulled the stopper out just to make sure I got every last little dollop of mascara and yeah I used this one for months the thing I love about this is the packaging is like metal it's so heavy and weighted and luxurious feeling that I really like because I don't think I've ever had a mascara this weighted and heavy so that that just like I don't know it makes you feel some type of way if you know you know so I used that completely up it was just okay like I wouldn't be mad if I get it again but it's definitely not one of my favorite mascaras ever once again because I have a bajillion mascaras I'm not gonna be repurchasing this even though it was okay like again I wouldn't be mad to get it again it worked it didn't flake for the most part it didn't transfer to my brow bone which is my pet peeve with mascara um, but yeah I have so many others right now I've been working through this buxom one so we're just gonna you know move on to other things for brows, I used to put brow product, you guys. The City Color Bold Brow. This did have two different colors in it. I got it in an Ipsy, I've had it for years. The packaging is totally busted and done. Um, at one point, I believe I had a little, some kind of brush came with it that I didn't use anyway. So I've completely used up this brow powder. Um, I don't know that they sell it in this exact packaging or form anymore anyway, even if I wanted to repurchase it. But again, I have other brow products. It was fine. It's a powder. Um, I'm at the point where I feel like if I really want a brow powder, I could just go through my collection and find a brown eyeshadow that matches my shadow, like my shade of my brow pretty well and use that. And I don't even need to at this point because right now I have an actual product for brows. This is in Brunette. This is the NYX Tame and Frayed Tinted Brow Pomade and it's pretty new. So I'm going to be using this one for the foreseeable future since I'm out of my brow powder and I'm also out of the Item Beauty Brow Chow Ultra Refine brow definer. Um, I had gotten this from an Ipsy. I ended up really, really liking this one. Um, this kind of brush does nothing for me. I've tried it in the NYX brand as well as this. I usually end up just using it to like maybe comb them up before I fill them if anything, but this was nice too. But again, I'm not going to repurchase or go for any other brow products right now because I have this. I know pomade's not really like on trend or whatever right now, but I've got it and I'm going to use what I have. And the last item I used up was also an item from Ipsy. It's the Araceli Liquid Eyeliner in shade Coffee, just a brown liquid liner. And this formula, at first I hated it because it goes on like so watery at first, but it dries really fast. So I ended up liking it pretty well. It's really opaque, um, but I used it completely up. I've honestly been going just like the look I'm wearing right now a lot more for a shadow liner lately so I'm not like too upset about this plus not gonna lie I had enough points to redeem an item for Ipsy so I went ahead and got a bag again for next month and one of the things you could pick was a brown liquid liner so I went ahead and picked a brown liquid liner because if you can get stuff through Ipsy you know usually you'll get this, this is a full size item for three bucks you know and I'm like okay if I'm gonna get one at all I'll get one in an Ipsy for three bucks it'll be great um, I you know I can use brown shadow as a liner I have brown gel liners I just don't have any other I'm that might be a lie I think I have one wet and wild liquid liner but it's like one of those brush tips where you have to like dunk it in and do it I should use that one up just because I hate it but this one's gone and 
we're not repurchasing that specific one because we already have other plans in mind for brown liner as we just discussed. So yeah guys, that's all the empties. I know that was kind of like rapid fire, <laughs> trying to get through all of them. Um, I genuinely, I feel pretty good about myself. Now, am I still buying some stuff and bringing it in? Yes, if you've watched my channel, you know. So far this year, um, I have purchased, I've been keeping like a list just to try to like keep myself accountable. Um, and I have done, you guys have seen videos on the Lunar Beauty new collection. I did a mystery box from Lunar Beauty. I did buy the Hello Palette from Nomad Cosmetics. I did a Fenty box. Um, I got the new Melt Gemini 2 palette that I filmed with. The Heather Austin palette. So like by no means, by no means, am I on a no buy. And I still feel like that's quite a lot for a low buy, but it genuinely is better than it was the year before. So I'm trying, and, and most of us are shadow palettes. Where's my weakness always been? Eyeshadow palettes. But you know, I'm doing things like this where I'm like, I didn't count this as an empty in this video because it's not empty. I still have some product over here that I'm using up. I've been using that daily. I'm doing a really good job though of sticking to the same things over and over and over, hitting pan, using up completely the products. So yeah. Here's to more and more empties um, when I get back. I feel like I'm gonna make a decent dent while I'm in Greece and Italy too because I'm gonna have to like curate specifically just a few things to take with me for that two week trip. And I feel like I could make a dent using the same thing over and over for 12 days, right? So I've kind of been thinking of making that a video too of like filming what makeup I'm gonna select to take with me on my trip or maybe just packing in general let me know if you think you'd be interested in seeing that i can definitely film it thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of the video as always and i hope to see you again on the next one bye